Hi, this is Jack Parr. You know, no matter where a comedian goes, people always expect him to say or do something funny. Well, right now, I want to talk to you about something very serious. I guess we've all heard and laughed at jokes based on differences in speech, race, and religion. But let's not forget that intolerance is a very subtle and dangerous enemy. Let's laugh with people, but not at them. Keep that in mind during Brotherhood Week and practice it all year. This is Steve Ellis, your sportscaster on the Blue Ribbon Bouts. If you want to see brotherhood in action, just look at the fight business. When a man gets into the ring, he is judged not on the color of his skin, but on his ability and performance. So don't count a man out just because of his language, color, or creed. Play fair and follow the rules of good sportsmanship. Accord to others the same respect you want for yourself. This is Mel Allen. America's common meeting ground is the playground. The world of sports offers to the world a code of living, wherein democracy is dramatically portrayed on the playing field. Ability to make the team is what counts, not race, color, nor creed. Sports are games of rules, and the greatest rule ever to come down to us is the golden rule. And that's just another way of saying sportsmanship. Just another way of saying the spirit of the brotherhood of man. This is Edward P. Morgan. As a former war correspondent, I know what it's like to be in a foreign country and not able to speak the language. You suddenly realize that you are the foreigner, the one who is different, who seems odd and out of place. Everybody, when you come right down to it, is a minority, a minority of one. Remembering that may help the next time you are tempted to ridicule someone because his language, color, or creed is different. Brotherhood needs the support of all of us. This is Don McNeil. You know, we have a big membership in the Breakfast Club. We don't know what you all look like. We don't know the color of your skin, your race, or creed. But we do know from your many, many letters that you're nice people. And we hope that you enjoy our company as much as we enjoy having you as guests weekday mornings. Friendship is a communion of the spirit. It has nothing to do with race, color, or creed. Get to know and understand your neighbors and practice brotherhood. And someday we'll all live contentedly as one family of man. Hi there. This is Martin Block. Friends, the other day I happened to walk into a studio where an orchestra was rehearsing. For ten minutes, the brass section was going over a particularly difficult passage. But not until the entire orchestra joined in did I recognize the music. Now, that incident reminded me of brotherhood. Although we are all individuals with different backgrounds and capacities, we can work together in peace and harmony. So during this Brotherhood Week, let's get in tune and live as one family of man. This is John Daly. Anytime news breaks about a national disaster in our country, flood, drought, hurricane, you, the public, have responded with overwhelming generosity to help the victims, regardless of their race, color, or creed. Why not carry this spirit of brotherhood into everyday living? You'll find that people who differ in color, speech, or creed often have much in common. Brotherhood can and does lead to friendship. This is Jack Webb. I've learned that good law enforcement isn't based so much on heroic deeds as on hard, patient work day after day. There's another threat to our country just as dangerous as crime, and that's group prejudice. Discriminating against people because of race or color not only hurts them unfairly, it divides and weakens our nation. There's no police force to protect us against prejudice. We've got to do the job ourselves. It may not be a very exciting one to track down prejudice and stamp it out, but it's got to be done. It takes hard, patient work day after day. Resolve yourself and tell others to judge people as individuals, not as members of any racial or religious group. This is Brotherhood Week, sponsored by the National Conference of Christians and Jews, a time when we should all pledge ourselves to work for tolerance. But remember, it's a year-round job. Thank you. This is Dave Garraway for a moment. One thing I especially like about musicians is the way they judge the other fellow on the basis of ability and nothing else. They don't ask a fellow uh, where he or his parents came from or what his religion is. They just want to know how well he can play. 
Think how much happier country we'd have if we'd forget all our prejudices like that and accept other people just as individuals, as the people they are. Now, this happens to be Brotherhood Week, sponsored by the National Conference of Christians and Jews, but why don't we do it all year round? Boys and girls, this is Roy Rogers. You know you can learn a lot from animals, and I've sure learned a lot from my horse, Trigger. When Trigger makes up his mind to like somebody, it doesn't matter to him where that person's from, his religion, or his color. I guess that's what you call horse sense. It makes sense to me, too, because I believe that underneath all their differences, all men are brothers. This is Brotherhood Week, sponsored by the National Conference of Christians and Jews. Be a good brother all year long. This is Tennessee Ernie Ford, and this is Brotherhood Week, sponsored by the National Conference of Christians and Jews, a time to remind ourselves that as Americans we must practice the ideals which created this country, equal opportunity and tolerance for all individuals and groups. These ideas won't work if every person in this country does not adhere to them in everyday life. Give the other person a chance, no matter how he differs from you in religion, color of skin, social background. If we use this week to remind ourselves of these things, we can turn Brotherhood Week into a whole era of brotherhood, one nation under God. This is Arthur Godfrey speaking. This is Brotherhood Week, sponsored by the National Conference of Christians and Jews. What is brotherhood? Well, it's simply treating the other fellow the way you'd like him to treat you. Remember, brotherhood, believe it, Live it, support it. This is Paul Whiteman. I want to tell you about Brotherhood Week, sponsored by the National Conference of Christians and Jews. I'm a simple guy, and I don't go in for big words, but I know what I feel. It's like this. Why can't people be nice to each other? Is it so hard? No. Why, it's easy to go up to the man next door and say... Come on, let's get together. You know, brotherhood starts at home, in your own block, down your own street, in your office. During Brotherhood Week, let's get together. This is Bert Parks reminding you that it's Brotherhood Week, sponsored by the National Conference of Christians and Jews. Do you ever stop to think what brotherhood means? It's every race, every creed, every color, working side by side for the good of the whole. Sort of like an arithmetic problem. X plus Y equals Z. Now, you can solve this equation by getting together with your neighbor. Talk things over. Find out what he thinks, and you'll come up with the answer. Tolerance plus understanding equals brotherhood. Let's get together. Folks, this is Bing Crosby reminding you of Brotherhood Week, sponsored by the National Conference of Christians and Jews. We aren't having a parade or a big celebration. We're, we're spending it quietly resolving to rid ourselves of intolerance, resolving to strengthen America and ourselves as individuals by ending bigotry. Why don't you join us this Brotherhood Week and every week to come? This is Perry Como. In show business, more than in any other, we know the meaning of true brotherhood. Every day, all of us, Protestants, Catholics, Jews, all the faiths and all the races work together without a thought of prejudice. Frankly, we're not concerned with a man's name or the color of his skin. And believe me, it's a wonderful way to live. This week is National Brotherhood Week. Won't you help us in this great effort by trying to be a good neighbor or a better neighbor? Make your good neighbor a good friend. And if you do, you'll take a king-size step toward a wonderful new way of life. <laughs> 